hey guys this is Bolo and today in this tutorial i will show how we can create this pirate flag animation in blender using cloth simulations or cloth physics in blender easily so hope you guys will find the video so that without any further delay let's start today's video so here i'm using blender 4.0.2 nice so first of all let's select everything in this default scene by pressing a on the keyboard and delete now let's start this by adding a plane so go to this add mesh select the plane here press s and increase the scaling now let's increase the scaling in x axis so press s and x and increase the scaling in x axis so i think this much is fine now r x 90 to rotate this one now first let's apply the scaling so being selected the plane go to this object apply apply scale now press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here change this to edit mode right click add subdivide come to these options here so number of cuts i will increase this to 85 so i think this much is fine now press one on the keyboard for front view so first of all let's apply texture onto this plane so for that let's move on to this shading viewport here now click on this new button here so here we got this principal psdf so now being selected this principal psdf press ctrl plus t for node wrangler if you're not enable node wrangler go to this edit preferences come to this add-ons and here look for node so by default this node wrangler will be disabled enable it and save those preferences and after that select this principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t so here we got this node so from here we need to apply that pirate flag texture onto this so here i have downloaded this texture from google just simply such as pirate flag texture you will get that so from here just click on this open and select that one so here i got that one so simply select that and click on this open image so here you can see we got that applied onto this plane so by any chance if the image is not appearing properly you can adjust the scaling so if i change the scaling you can see we can adjust the scaling we can change the location so here it is applied properly so now let's move on to this layout once again so now being selected this plane press tab key for edit mode now let's select three of the phrases here so change this to face selection now long press on this select box option and change it to select lasso so now here i will select few faces so here i will randomly select few faces like this so here i have selected these faces now let's delete them so press delete and select the faces so now again press type key to exit this edit mode so now let's apply cloth physics onto this plane so being selected this plane come to this physics property and apply cloth so now if i play this you can see the plane will be falling down so now i need to restrict the plane to fall down so for that we need to select the vertices here so now press tab key for edit mode change this to vertex selection so now let's change this to box select here and let's select these vertices and also i'll select these vertices and also i'll select few vertices here so here i have selected these vertices being selected those vertices come to this object data properties and in vertex group click on this plus icon so let's rename this as pins and simply click on this assign button that means these pins what we have selected are assigned to this pin group so assign it now again press tab key to exit this edit mode so now come to this physics property scroll down here we will get this shape option right expand this one and in pin group we need to select the group which we have created so select it and now if i play this you can see the flag will be staying or hanging in that position nice so now we need to enable few options so come to this collision options scroll down and enable this self collisions now let's move on to the starting frame and if i play this now we will have our cloth animation so let's right click and shade smooth so now let's add a force field here so go to this add come to this force field and select the wind here press s and increase the scaling so let's rotate this in this way okay let's place this force field here and let's increase the strength so here let's increase the strength to 100 and let's see whether it works or not so now if i play this so i think we need to increase the strength so i will increase the strength a bit here 450 and now if i play this i think the strength is not enough still so let's increase this to 1000 and let's rotate this a bit here so that the force will be flowing in this direction and let's bring this down a bit so now if i play this you can see the strength the force field strength is acting on the cloth but i think we need to increase the strength a bit so i will increase this to 1500 so now if i play this you can see our flag pirate flag is getting simulated properly so still if you want to increase the strength you can do that so for this tutorial i think this is fine so after that let's add a pole here so go to this add mesh select a cylinder press s and reduce the scaling 
press S, Z and increase the scaling in Z axis. Now place this at this position. So I think this much is fine. So after that apply any material onto this one. Now let's select the cloth here. Scroll down. Come to the catchy options. So here you can see we got this catchy options right. So here simulation start and end frame is set to 250. So here I will increase the frame length to 350 frames. And end frame also I will increase this to 350. So once this is done just click on this bake button so here the bake is done and if i play this we got our pirate flag animation done properly so in this way we can create this pirate flag animation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so i'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye